the police is a daily part of our lives. My partner and I will be in the car and we'll hear a police siren and like we'll both just kind of freeze up. I grew up in a very poor neighborhood um, with a lot of other Hmong families and black families. Watching police officers come into my home was really hard. Um, I was very young uh, and I was really confused as to why they were in my house, why people were arguing, why people were fighting, uh, why police officers were demanding that my sister come out of the bathroom when she had just gotten out of the shower and she was naked. And she had clearly stated to them that I'm not wearing any clothes, um, you know, so can I please get some clothes because I do not want to come out naked. And they said no. The very few times that I have been stopped have happened when I was living, living in um, Wisconsin. I must have been about 20 and I was with um, a partner at the time who was uh, a white cis woman um, and we were hanging out downtown, it was pretty late. I also looked very different at the time. I um, was presenting more as sort of a, um, as a woman at the time. Also sort of um, masculine of center person, um, spiky hair, cutoffs, all the things. Um, and at one point the police officer had pulled my partner aside and kind of like checked in with her basically to be like, are you okay? Is this person bothering you? When I was 13, I had a, my best friend um, and he was killed by the police. Um, and to this day, I still remember after his death, being on my way to school at 13, at 14 years old, being, being pulled over and asking me questions about my best friend, even though I, I was still mourning his death, still trying to understand what happened, um, and them treating me like I was a part of his killing. We both got chased for like a block by like um, a cop holding a gun. Um, and I know that cop wouldn't shoot me, but like for her, it's a very real possibility. So it's that sort of thing. Like our bodies really belong between like apparatus of state violence and then our black community members and lovers and fam, etc. For me and my community is like policing looks like and means and is re it's really just synonymous with violence, right? So like um, the police are like rolling down our blocks and everything. Um, like we just like know them as like folk who take our comrades away in cages. Even in our like intra-community interactions, like showing up for black folks, um, like you're going to a political action, like do you know where your black comrades are? Do you know their like names of birth dates? Um, Cause like you need to put your body physically in between, right? So I do cop watch um, just wherever I am because I would want someone to do that for me. I want the police to know that they're being watched. Um, that just because the state sanctions their power does not mean that like the people don't also have power. I don't think that I've ever been, I don't think I've healed from having my friend killed by the police. Um, and I think a part of me still believes that it was that was my fault. Um, intellectually, I understand that it's not my fault, but I think emotionally, I still remember being that 14-year-old, pulled aside on my way to school, and being interrogated like I was the one that killed my friend. I understand how it feels to live in a community that's over police, to always, to always be constantly questioned why you're in your own neighborhood, um, and to not be able to question the police officers why they're actually in your neighborhood. Of people being brutalized and just completely mistreated by the police, and knowing that that could be my partner, that could be some of my best friends, that could be me. You know, I stand with Black Lives Matter because, you know, truly when, 
when Black Lives Matter, I know that my life will matter too.